Hello, I'm going to show today how to uh, georeference a raster map in QGIS. Uh, I'm going to use as an example a map taken from uh, this paper in uh, an area in Spain. Uh, and I already loaded in QGIS through the uh, Quick Map Services a Bing map uh, of um, a satellite map. And the area is around here. So we just have an idea of where this uh, the area that I want uh, that I want is. So I have a georeference map that I exported from the publication in a JPEG format, and I want to uh, put this raster map onto um, QGIS uh, into the right coordinate. So the first thing I want to make sure about is that uh, if I go in my properties, I am in WGS84, and this is it. I am in WGS84, um, and then what I do, I go to raster, georeferencer, and I open the raster file I want. So now it points already to the correct directory. And here I have the raster file I want. Now here, what I have to do at this point is to pick points on, the, on this raster file that I can recognize also on the map. For example, I can take this little cape here. Uh, if I knew the coordinates, I could put in the coordinates. Here there's also a grid, so you could uh, select uh, points uh, here that you know the coordinates of, but um, as many maps do not come with grids, I will show you how to do it without the grid. So I'm going into uh, this button from Map Canvas, so the map will open up again. Try to find the same point around here. So you'll see that the, and then I press OK, and you see that the first point is set. Now let me look for a second point. For example, this one could be a good one, where this uh, other rocky cape is finishing. I go again into my map canvas and I look for the second cape, which is farther north. It's around here. So it's about here. And I'm going to click again. And I'm going to click OK. So you see that here <coughs> points are being updated. So you have the source data point and the destination in the correct coordinates. Now what I need is a third point, and what I could do is to pick maybe this uh, little cape that I have uh, out here, this little rocky uh, cape, or maybe even better, this one. Let's see if we can find this on the map canvas. So I go back to the map canvas. It was to the south of this big one, and there it is. So this is the third point, and I press OK. Uh, and you see that it's it's here. So now I need a minimum of three points, uh, but of course, if I put more points, my uh, projection is going to be uh, better, uh, or my uh, georeferencing is going to be better. But just to show you how quickly it can be done, I can press here Start Georeferencing, and it will ask me to set the transformation type first. Now for three points like this one, it's probably okay to go with a polynomial uh, um, first order. There are a number of different uh, solutions here and they are described uh, in the QGIS uh, manual. It's very important to uh, set the target system uh, reference uh, um, same as the same <clears throat> uh, same one as the one that you set uh, initially on your project. You can save the GCP points in case you want to come back and modify them later. Um, and this is pretty much, uh, pretty much it. Now we can press OK, and then we can press again, Run. So now you'll see that the georeference is successful. So if I uh, put this down here, I'll see that my map has been georeferenced uh, um, onto the uh, Google Earth. And give it a little bit more opacity and see if it really follows the coastline here, and indeed it does. So uh, this is a quick, uh, quick way to georeference uh, a raster file. And now, if we look in the folder uh, that I started uh, before, we have uh, uh, a figure GRF modified, which is basically the one, um, the one that has the coordinates inside, and uh, we have the GRF modified uh, points that I saved. So this is it. It was pretty quick. And uh, of course, if you instead prefer, uh, you can use the grid um, coordinates 
and insert the coordinates uh, directly. But in this case, I prefer to show you how it's done without um, grids, uh, because most images in publications these days do not really have uh, grids like this one. 